guys, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how to get this uber dramatic look that is heavily inspired by Naomi Smalls of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 4. In the most recent episode, Sex and the Kitty Girl 3, she was rocking this look with two different colored eyes and I looked online to see where I could find pictures of it and I couldn't find any pictures. So I had to go and record video of my TV screen and then take screenshots of it. You know, it was, it was a process. Here are some shots of the look that I'm going for. It is bright, it is bold, it is one color on one eye, one color on the other eye, huge liner, huge lashes, glitter. I mean, basically everything I love in this world and don't do enough of. I had so much fun doing this look. It took me an obscene amount of time. So what I would really appreciate is if you give this video a thumbs up just to encourage me and be like, hey Linda, good try. Subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and smash that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post a new video. Let's jump right into this tutorial. So I've already done my eyebrows and the very first thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little bit of tape right on the edges here because I want that super sharp line that's really gonna help with my eyeliner later because I am a klutz and I have a tendency to just go like this with eyeliner, which, which it ain't cute. Next, I wanna go in with a white base. This is what's really gonna help the colors on my eyes pop. So I'm going in with NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. Now let's put some color on here. For the green side, I wanna first go in with a level up from Colored Rain, and then I'm going to put Squad deeper in the crease to really darken it up. In the last 15 seconds, I have dug my nails into my brand new Colored Rain palette like four times. For the lid on the green eye, I'm going in with this very old color. It doesn't have a label on it. I think it's Milani, but it is just a very light kind of springy green color with no glitter or anything in it. It's not quite matte, but it's almost there. I think it's a satin. Now, I think that in her look, Naomi might have actually just had white on her eyelid, but I really wanted to get this rich color in here. Going back in with a little more squad just to deepen the edge a bit. So for this eye, it's gonna be a little bit different. I keep looking at my reference picture here and the eyelid is a very, very light white pink. And then there's also pink in the overall crease, but then deeper in the crease is a purple. So it's going to be a bunch of different mixed colors here. I hope these blend easily for me today. For the overall crease, I wanna go in with Sugar Pills Dolly Pop. I'll admit that's a lot more hot pink than I wanted it to be, but you know what, let's just go with it. I'm just going in with a clean, fluffy blending brush. This is the Blend and Build, Build and Blend by MOTD Cosmetics. And then for the crease, I'm gonna go in with Poison Plum from Sugar Pill. For the very light pink, I'm actually gonna go in with two shades, and I will admit these are MAC shades from many, many years ago. When I did decide to go cruelty-free, I did not wanna just throw away any old makeup that I had just because it wasn't cruelty-free. I figured I might as well use it up. So I am going in with a combination of these two pinks. Just like with the other eye, I'm going back in with a touch of Poison Plum to put right on the outer edge here. For the highlight, there was this very white, very bright highlight. So I'm gonna go in again with this old MAC shade in Crystal Avalanche. It is white and it is shimmery as hell. This goes against all my better judgments, but I wanna try it. Thank you. 
Now comes the glitter, and I'm actually super nervous about this part because it looks like Naomi had sort of a bright silver glitter, and somehow, in all of my glitter dumb, I have no silver glitter. How is that a thing? How is, how is that a thing? I am gonna try this old, and I mean old Wet n Wild glitter. This is a very white, sparkly glitter. It is, yeah, glitter sparkly, you think so? It's crystalline. Hmm. I'm using my Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Cosmetic Base. I'm going to pat that on my lid and pray. It doesn't suck. Now the eyeliner, so Naomi had a big old fat wing, so that is good for people like me because that means it'll hide a whole lot and you don't have to be too precise with it. So I am probably gonna start with a smaller wing and just build it up as they need to be evened out because they will need to be evened out. I was about to use this M Cosmetics liquid liner and that is so scratchy and pointy, so I'm going back to my Kat Von D tattoo liner because nope. Very gently take off your tape. I'm gonna go in with a wipe. These are the Pacifica Rose Water Wipes and I'm just gonna clean everything up a bit. All right, now that the top of the eyes are done, we can move on to the face. First, I'm going in with the Collab The Fundamental Smoothing Primer. For my foundation, you guys probably already know, I'm going in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, and this is in the color Ivory L2. You guys know that I'm normally a light coverage kind of girl, but with this look, I feel like a little higher coverage would probably be better, so I'm going to bounce this out to about a medium coverage. just a little bit of concealer. Then I'm going where Linda rarely goes and I am going to powder my face using the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna contour just a bit with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Then I'm gonna use my Tarte Blush in Parte and the cutest blush brush of all time from Moda. I love this so much, look at the little unicorn. This is actually way more blush than I'm used to. Hmm. Now that the face is done, I'm gonna finish off the eyes first. I'm going to line my inner waterline with the Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, but I am gonna also put black on the upper waterline to make my lashes look thicker. For under my eyes, I don't believe that Naomi has any color under hers, but I want some color under mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Poison Plum under this eye and Shade hmm, Squad under this eye. Now a very light layer of Milk Makeup Kush Mascara this might turn into a heavier layer if the eyelashes don't work. 
I'll admit that it's been a long time since I've worn any really dramatic lashes, so these scare me just a little bit, but I'm going to be trying out the Sugar Pill Lullaby Lashes. I did go ahead and trim the outside of these already because they were much too long for my eyes, but these are just beautiful, fluffy, dramatic lashes that flare out on the ends. Of course, why wouldn't my camera cut out the one time I successfully put on eyelashes? Why? For the lips, I am not gonna quite do Naomi's lips because she had kind of a very dark lip line with a very light on the inside and that's not really my bag. So I am going to go in with the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Liar and the NYX Butter Lipstick in BLS 17 Pops Explosive. Is that the name? then an excessive amount of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Foam. So here is the finished look, you guys. This was inspired, of course, by Naomi Smalls from the Sex and the Kitty Girls 3 episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. I really was inspired by it, so I hope you guys like this recreation. I figured this could definitely be a Valentine's look if you wanted to make it so. If you guys like this look, please subscribe down below. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. You are super freaking rock stars. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for all of your love, all your support. You guys literally warm my heart on a daily basis, and it means a whole lot to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!